Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple set of onboarding screens for your iPhone X mobile app. As you can see here, using Envision, we're just making a very simple set of frames that will allow you to scroll from right to left as a user onboards. All right, well, let's get started then. We're just going to add an artboard for iPhone X. I'm going to put a rectangle over the top here because you can't add gradients to the background. So we're just going to add this and remove the borders. Now I've gone for a nice uh, green and blue border. I'll put the, the hex values in the video so you can check them out as well. And we're just going to change the gradients, the, the degrees here on the personal fat and diagonal, and that's looking sharp. Now I'm going to add the status bars in as well. Um, so that when we upload it to Envision, we've got the time, uh, it's, it's looking legit. And here I'm going to put in an illustration from uh, the undraw.co illustrations library. I'll put the, the link in the comments so you can check it out. And the first thing I'm going to work on after that is the status circles. So these will um, show a user what page they're on. And we'll just do that by changing the transparency of them. So I'm going to make three and group them and just horizontally align them, put them in place like so. And that will be that done. So now we're just going to add a header and a short description that talks about the purpose of our app. I'm going to be talking generally about um, some sort of app that allows users to collaborate and work together on tasks. So the first screen will be about being able to update those tasks anywhere through this iPhone app. So I'm going to use a Poppins font as I have been a lot recently. We're just going to copy that down and reduce the font and put it in a medium and realign that. Awesome. We're just going to play with the spacing here a bit so it looks nice. I'm going to remove any of the, the character spacing, the negative character spacing, and then we're just going to put in a, a nice little message here, like so. And that will form the basis of our page. Now, what I like to do as I go along before I get it into Envision is add the iPhone X frame onto the artboard just so we can get a feel of how it's going to look later. And you can see that all the components fit nicely given the top and bottom sides. So I'm just going to call this upboard upboard one because when we upload it to Envision, we need to ensure that each upboard has a different name and copy and paste that and make this upboard two. Awesome. And what we're going to do is swap out some of these components uh, and change the text. So here I'm going to use another illustration from Undraw. This is going to be about the collaboration, this page. So I'm just going to check that it lines up with the previous icon. You can see I've got uh, rulers here showing me what the dimensions of the other one was. And then I'm just going to nudge that up a few pixels to ensure that it's looking vertically aligned. And what we can't forget is uh, back here in the first artboard, we need to reduce the opacity to 30 for the, uh, the second two icons to represent that we're on the first page. And then all we're going to do is for the first and the third one on this page, change the opacity to 30 also. So now you can see from one to two. Now again, I'm just going to add um, a little bit of text in here quickly about collaboration. And that's the second artboard done. All the hard work's been done on the first one. So now we can essentially just copy and paste that again. And we're just going to replace the illustration for the third and final screen. If you wanted to add more screens, you could. I'm just stuck with three here. I'm going to quickly change the text one more time. And because this is the third and final screen, I'm just going to add a button here that will take users uh, into the app to either sign up or log in. I'm just going to make this about 60 pixels tall lined along the bottom of the upboard. All I'm going to do is make it completely black and reduce the opacity until I get a nice kind of darker blue color that I think suits nicely. So that would do. I'm just going to add a text label in here. Let's keep it, keep it interesting. Let's make it, let's do this. I'm going to put that all in white because that sits better on that dark background. And just play around with that font. And now we're going to align it, make sure it's sitting in the middle of the, the rectangle. And that's essentially, that's essentially it for the button. So we've got some good looking screens here. All we're going to do to finish this off is we're just going to change the opacity of the final uh, third indicator on our status circles. 
And we've got to make sure that we give this third artboard a title of three for when we upload it to Envision. Now that that's uploaded, we're just going to load up Envision here. And you'll notice that I've got all of the screens here. All I want to do first is rearrange the order of them. So I'm going to put one first, two second, and three third. This will help us when we're uh, trying to go to the next and previous screen in the series. We're just going to go to build mode here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one hotspot that's going to take up the entire first screen. And that's going to go to the next screen in the series with a push left so that it looks as though it's been swiped. So now if I just go back to preview, you'll notice here that it'll nicely move to the left. Now for the second screen, I'm going to actually split it in half. I'm going to do one hotspot here that takes up 50% roughly of the screen, if I can get that right. And that's going to go to the same thing, the next screen in the series with a push left. And we're going to include this in a template just so we can easily apply it to the other one. I've already got one here, so I'm going to make a new one called onboarding one save that and we're going to do the same thing for the other 50% but we're going to make it for the previous screen so for the first screen so i'm just going to make that about 50% again we're going to do previous screen this time and we're going to do push right instead of left to give it the opposite look so i'm going to include that in the template if i go back to preview that will flick us nicely into the third now here we don't have a fourth screen at the moment for let's do this. So I'm just going to apply the same template that we used for the second screen that will merely let us rotate to the first one again or take us back to the second one. And there you go. You've got a really nice and simple onboarding set of screens that you can show to your client, friend or for your own products using Envision and Sketch.